Hi everyone, today we're going to do a tear down of this Philip uh, Agua Touch wet and dry. So it, it is not broken because you can hear it. But these parts are missing. So I'm just going to take it apart and see what's inside of it really, to be honest with you. But um, you know something, I don't know if we can make anything out of it, but we'll have a look. So there's one screw here. This comes apart like that. This part is there. So that only got one of these. But there you go. Let's see. So two hair in there. So yeah. That's that. Yeah, I thought I'd get a bit of paper here because all this hair is falling everywhere. I don't want it to come everywhere. Here we go. So there's a screw here, and I should really use a proper screwdriver to take this off. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not interested in putting this back together again. So I'm not interested uh, if it all comes apart and falls into pieces. Try and find out what else holds it. Oh, the screws in here. The screws in here are going to take part. Well, we all know that's what it looks like inside, right? Rechargeable battery. And the motor's inside there. Motor's inside there.
charging port. Okay guys, the motor's stuck in there. Uh, I can't see a way of taking the motor out yet, so I'll get back to you in a minute. Although, get back to you in a minute. Okay guys, after a close inspection, this is like a sealed unit. I was contemplating on cutting it out, just to have a look, but I pushed on the motor here you can see the motor, see the motor there. I pushed up and then the whole thing came out like that. There you go. So there it is. Whole unit is out like this. That's what it looks like. And I'm not interested in this because this is a lovely gear thing. There you see all the gears work. I mean, you know, so you could make something out of it I suppose if you think about it <coughs> but uh, I'm only interested in taking the motor out so I'm not sure how well this motor is it's, got a ge it's, it's obviously geared into it so I don't really want to break it if I can help it just pull pull on the gears you can see that's that's the uh, there you go beautiful and so if I took this out now which is the motor then that's it the whole unit will come out I don't think it's, I don't think it's uh, got a screw or anything, it just popped on really tightly. Looks like it might be glued on. It looks a bit iffy here. There you go. There you go guys. The gear is out. That's your gear. And there's another gear inside. Oh, there you go. Have a look at that. So, that's your real gear in there with the screws in there. And this attaches inside of that one. And turns it nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have the screw to take that 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 middle bit out seems like a, a funny kind of screw which you have to a special screw you have to have a special screws to take that out take this up here don't really want to break it So I'm going to say that's the tear down sorted because all it needs to do is take them two screws out which, which are not screws which I haven't got a screwdriver for that. Well, let me see if we can try. <coughs> Get back to you. Okay guys I had a look for something to open this up and I can't find nothing at all so I'm going to leave it there. I think we'll call this a tear down because at the end of the day, I'm gonna take these two things off and it'll all come out there, it'll all come apart. And the other way I could do is cut this wires and bring it out or unsolder them from here, unsolder them from here and bring the whole thing out of here. I'm just, I just don't really wanna destroy this because in case I want to make something with it another time. So thank you for watching, subscribe, thumbs up and as you know the um, obviously 
you saw how I took it all apart so if you want to change blades or whatever you want to do so you know how far you can go and what to do with it. <laughs> 